friend of mine experienced a tragedy in his life recently. He fried his Super X Station video game system. Playing big league football in a lightning storm, smoked it, melted the game disc. All that's left is the controller. So he's saving up to buy a new system that costs $535. Now, he already has $247 in the bank from birthdays and various holidays and his job. Each Saturday, he works as a bag boy at a local grocery store and makes $24, which he puts right into the bank. The question is, how long will it take him to save enough money to replace his cooked console? Well, we can write an equation to help us solve this problem. Now, he gets paid by the week, so we'll let X represent the number of weeks it will take to save the money. He earns $24 each week, so the amount he earns can be expressed as 24X. Next, we'll add on the money that's already in the bank. And when we put it all together, it will equal 535, which represents the cost of the new system. We often call equations like this multi-step equations because there are many numbers attached to many operations that we have to eliminate to isolate the X. As a general rule of thumb, we start with the number that is either added or subtracted. We'll subtract 247 from both sides of the equation, which eliminates the plus 247 and leaves us with 24X equals 288. Finish off this basic one-step equation by dividing both sides by 24, because that's the opposite operation of multiplication. And X equals 12. The game won't check its own work. So substitute 12 back into the original equation for x. Now use the order of operations to simplify and show that the left side equals 535. So x does indeed equal 12. Remember, x represented the number of weeks. So it'll be 12 weeks before I say, I mean, my, before my friend saves enough for a new game system. There are many variations on multi-step equations. Any equation that involves two or more steps to solve falls into that category. Here are some examples of multi-step equations. The first equation is in the same form as the one we just completed, except it has division and subtraction in place of multiplication and addition. The second has grouping symbols. And the third has variables on both sides of the equal sign. In the first equation, we'll still follow the rule that you eliminate the number that is added or subtracted first. In this case, adding 4 to both sides to eliminate the minus 4. Then finish solving the resulting one step by performing the opposite operation of division, multiplying both sides by 3. x equals 27. In the second example, we begin by using the distributive property to eliminate the parentheses multiplying 6 by x, and then by 2. Now the equation looks like the others we've done. Subtract 12 from both sides, and divide both sides by 6. x equals 5. Finally, the one that looks the most complex because it has more than one x. Our objective is still to isolate the x on one side of the equation. So we'll start by eliminating one of the x terms. Subtract 4x from both sides. That takes care of the two x's and leaves us with an equation that looks like all the others we've solved. No matter how many steps we do, we continually simplify the equation and reduce it to a familiar form, which we already know how to solve. Final answer, x equals 7. And with all of these equations, once you get a solution, don't forget to check your work. There's a method to solving these problems, and if you learn it, you'll have hours of mathematical fun. Always follow the rules in the right order. Practice the technique so you can perfect it, and you'll be able to solve multi-step equations, if you're game.